Hey guys, welcome back to our repair guys. In today's video guys, we'll show you how to remove and replace the ABS module, the computer part on Ford Fiesta guys, MK7 generation 2008 to 2018. So this is guys the ABS computer, this is the pump right there. Okay, we have the video on the channel how we test it and all that, so check it out. But in today's video, we'll show you how to remove the brand computer. Very, very easy procedure, not as complicated as you think, so let's start on it now. But before we proceed guys, please check out Electrical Car Repair. Quite a few videos coming there, that's our new channel. I will really appreciate if you give a subscribe. We're going to disconnect the battery now. Okay, and... Every time we work with electrical connections, we will recommend disconnecting the battery. Okay, and there is always a certain way you disconnect it. Negative first, positive second. Otherwise, you can burn a computer, guys, and we've done it before. You can check out the video. It's on, it's on our channel. Okay, perfect. So first we need to remove the engine cover. We already got ours loose. It has four bushings. You can see, and you just pull it straight out. After that, we need to go ahead and disconnect uh, disconnect that hose right here. So uh, you can either do it with a 7 mm socket that we can use. Okay, I believe it was 7. And we're going to disconnect this pipe here, this as well. Okay, make sure you get it loose all the way. Not just to come off, but okay, like that. Now. Let me disconnect this one here. Okay, you have to kind of like spread both of them on one side, push up a little bit, but careful not to break it. The same thing on the other side, and then you can pull it straight out, just like that. Now this one, you squeeze right here and one on the bottom. At the same time, you pull it out. Okay, you can see, uh, just like that. After that, we need to disconnect the uh, brake booster vacuum hose which is the same way okay perfect now we can go ahead actually and proceed by removing the mount for the intake hose with the 10 millimeter this nut over here and after that with the 12 we need to remove this is one of the holders for the engine cover so please guys subscribe as I said, more than 200 videos will be on the channel of that car. If you have any questions, let us know. We'll try to answer. Now, flathead screwdriver or 7mm and we're going to uh, disconnect. There is, uh, uh, there is one of those there holding, okay, holding the intake hose. Okay, I'm trying to focus, it's that clamp, okay, right there. Uh, we're going to get a small ratchet and a 7mm so we can go ahead and get it loose. So we got it loose now, we'll try to lift it up and see if it's loose enough, okay, to come up. Or oh, maybe it's still holding there a little bit. Okay, so it came up. Now, let's go ahead and remove it first, okay, we're going to get it loose on this side, just be gentle not to break any vacuum hoses because those could be expensive. Okay, let's see if it's going to come out now. Okay, so let me just make sure that everything's good. Okay, now very careful here not to break any vacuum hoses. Okay, and it came out. Now, that rubber bushing is still attached there, so we need to go ahead and remove it from the intake hose. And install it on this one, otherwise later you will not be able to push the hose in. Okay, that's the one we are talking about. So we need to go over here, so you can slide it on top of the other hose connector, otherwise it will be impossible to get this one in. Now this is the intake pipe right here and it's wide open. 
it's very important to not drop anything in it so what we're going to do we'll just get a rubber glove and we'll cover it but it's very important to remove it once you're done because otherwise you will damage your engine yeah, okay so since that intake hose is out of the way now you can see this is the ABS module now, in our case, we'll remove the computer box only. Okay, this is the computer part itself. The pump tested okay, and we have the video on the channel, guys. Please check it out. It will be in the, in the under the videos below, so you can see how we tested the pump. And we'll show you how to remove that brain box now. So, what we are going to need, okay, is to disconnect the wire first. Okay, and before we disconnect the wire you know we already disconnected our battery so you always have to make sure the battery is disconnected so in order to re remove the wire okay there is one thing on the back side you push this one down and then you push okay the wire down like that okay and this one So you have to move it up and down a few times because sometimes you have dust stuck in it you have to go all the way down okay and then you can pull the wiring harness out of the way okay just just like that oh we're going to use the gun here we'll use torx 25 okay the star looking bit and now right here on the back side okay there is one screw bolt okay just like this one here but it's on the back side so now you have to guys bear with me for just a minute Okay, trying to get it in there. Okay. So I have to hold it with one hand while I get the ratchet on. Impact in the other one. Okay, this one came loose. Now, this one right here. On the front. Second one, and now we have one more, okay, and this one we'll be using a small ratchet here to see if we can get in. Oh, we won't be able to. Okay, it got loose. So, since it got loose, I'll try to... reach it with this one here now because it's under an angle now you have to hold your brain box on the back side okay this one still holding a little bit let me make sure that all of them are loose So now you have to gently, without twisting or anything, to pull it out. And this is, guys, the ABS brain computer out of that Ford Fiesta, as you can see. So that's how you guys remove it. All you have to do, install a new one if you have to. You have to be very careful not to bend those. Don't contaminate it here and install the three bolts. So that's how we do it guys. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.